Vision is behind the making of runners. Thank you, Lord. You're welcome to Tuesday, the 18th of August, 2020. Our topic today on the Sins of Destiny is the restoration of Israel. This is another powerful sign that we'll be looking at today. It says, Behold, I will call, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. And with them, the blind and the lame, the woman with child, and her that travelleth with child together, a great company shall return thither. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 8. Thought for the day. Ensure that you are ready for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In scripture, we understand that one sign of the end time is the restoration of Israel as a nation. Our Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. Now learn a parable from the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, we know that summer is nigh. Bible theologians identified the fig tree in Matthew 24, 32 as Israel. When you see the Israelites who were scattered all over the world coming back together to their homeland in Israel, it means that the end is near. Israel as a nation was scattered all over the world for almost 2,000 years, but they came together. And on the 14th of May, 1948, they became a nation despite the intense hostility of neighboring countries. It is very important to know that the Jews are returning to their homeland now in fulfillment of God's promise for the restoration of Israel in Jeremiah chapter 31 and in verse 8. This year, about two months ago, my husband spoke with the president of the International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem, ICEJ. He sent us a picture of a pregnant woman, her husband, and two children returning to their nation of Israel from Europe. He said that, that the return of that woman with her child fulfilled what God said in Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 8. He said also that hundreds of Jews were returning to their homeland this year, 2020. Even in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, and lockdown situations that were on, they were also expecting about 70 other Ethiopian Jews to return to Israel. This, he said, where the company of Jews of the tribe of Dan believed to have been left with the Queen of Sheba when she visited Solomon. According to history, somewhere in northeastern India, they also identified some members of the lost tribe of Manasseh who were making their way to their homeland again. Now, the miracle did not just stop with the restoration of Israel. It continued with the restoration of their language in the course of their dispersion to different parts of the world. The Hebrew language disappeared, disappeared. Everywhere they went, the Jews spoke the languages of the people of those places. But God promised to restore their language in Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9. And the miracle is, not only did the people return, their pure ancient original Hebrew language also returned. Hallelujah! This is one of the greatest miracles of their return. It's difficult for a whole language that disappeared for over five, for even five years to be recovered. And yet there were languages that had disappeared completely. You see, there are languages that disappeared and they have never been found again. But the Hebrew language disappeared for almost 2,000 years and was recovered. Beloved, it was predicted in scripture that one sign of the end is the restoration of the nation of Israel. 
and their language. This has been fulfilled already, which means that we are already in the end time, the very end of the time. So expect the blast of the trumpet any moment. Ensure that you are ready for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Remember this, ensure that you are ready for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, ensure that you are ready for the second return, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, refuse to be entangled by the godlessness of this end time. And number three, be watchful, be vigilant, be prayerful always. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Say, oh Lord, thank you for drawing my consciousness to the signs of the end time. I receive the grace to be watchful, to be vigilant, to be prayerful, so as not to be taken unawares by the rapture. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. I'd like to pray for you. You want to be born again. You want Jesus to forgive your sins, to come into your life and be the Lord of your life. You want to escape um, every uh, end time issue and be able to make the rapture. Pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know the Lord has heard that prayer and answered you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place to receive God's open arms. It is a place of His glory. It's too